Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for another Survive the Hunt. Yes, I am back trying to survive for 24 hours of game time while a bunch of players are going to try and chase me down. Not only am I going to try and survive, I'm going to try and blow up as many of the pink prees uh, as I can. Last time I got a record of six, we're going to try and beat that. Uh, it is a, that is a tough goal to beat, we did quite well last time out. Uh, but all of this is going to be done, of course, while I'm trying to stay alive. Quarter past one, we're going to start. So it's 24 hours of, of game time, which is roughly 48 minutes uh, for us to try and survive. Now, we're going to get a two-minute head start. Okay, we get a two-minute head start for which uh, we can get away and hopefully try and blend in to some traffic. Now, I do know where all the pink prees are dotted around the map. I have a map uh, as to where they are located because at the end of the day, the hunters actually want me to be blowing them up in some regards because, well, when I blow them up, they're a personal vehicle, it notifies the hunters of where I am a little bit. So, yeah, they're kind of happy to have me uh, blow the vehicles up slightly. Uh, like, that is, I say that, that is fine. Um, we've got, of course, Stinty's Pink Pre is by the exit of the of the docks, as it always is, um, as that vehicle as that vehicle always is. Uh, we are going to not get stopped. I haven't driven the Monroe for ages. I do like the Monroe. It's one of my favourite cars uh, in in GTA Five. In some regards, um, it was uh, I, I got it. It was one of the very first. This is one of the very very first cars I ever got in GTA Five. One of the very very early cars I got in this game. I think it might actually be the... I think I got it before I got the Vacker as well. So, yeah, this is a really, really old vehicle of mine. I haven't driven it for ages. Thought I'd use something a little bit a little bit different. So, yeah, bright orange Monroe is going to come racing through the streets here. Uh, now, we are going to... What are we going to drive? I mean, I do spot the Sultans are spawning. It's tempting, you know. It's always very, very tempting to go and grab a Sultan or something around here. Uh, you never know. You never know. Oops. Uh, when you might need a Sultan for a getaway car. Uh, I, I, I try to avoid it. <laughs> They're so easy to go for as a sort of go-to getaway vehicle that I almost want to try something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to try... I want to try and get this car... I say a little bit hidden. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but if we stick... Let's say we stick the Monroe up here. Now, we are going to go with... Uh, let's just go. There we go. We will wander around fairly, fairly neutral looking uh, character. So, a sort of two minute head start means that we've got a little bit of time here to go and find uh, something to drive. Now, do I try? Hello? Not a Futo. A Futo is a really bad idea. Now, these things are actually a lot quicker than you expect. Uh, a lot of people don't realise. <laughs> the uh, the Mopovo is actually surprisingly fast. This is, is not a slow vehicle in the slightest. Uh, now, there is an idea. So, there's a pink pre up by the monument as well. I can't blow that up at the moment. Uh, we're probably not quite out. It might just be out of the time. We'll give it a little bit more time uh, before we go for for that. Uh, I'm not allowed to immediately. But I do know I do know exactly where it's, where it's parked, where it's positioned. So, <laughs> I have made a mental note of that. And now, the, uh, the game is afoot, so to speak. Uh, we are... Whereabouts are we on the map? We're over there, so I'm heading up this way. If we actually... I think if we follow this road along straight, we might actually get to another pre. That might be where I want to go. That might be the... Uh, the best idea for me. We'll head along that bit. We'll see what... Uh, see what happens. We have got a full accompaniment of weaponry. We'll try and get the window down. Uh, slightly... If, if the damage is sinking and spawning and loading, slightly less suspicious. There's a very good chance that it won't be sinking and spawning and loading, because... GTA 5. <laughs> the chances of it sinking and sporting and loading are all pretty damn slim. Uh, now, what we can do up here, we can go and get, so there's one that's by, uh, so Scotty does the filming for, for the map uh, that we used in the discussion video. Now, he always has his car parked out the back of his apartment, uh, which is easy to get to. And if I can get it, I'm currently planning a route around the city. We're planning a little bit. And the thing is, I set this up. I can set these the best laid plans in the world. Don't mean a damn thing when you start Survive the Hunt because it doesn't necessarily work. Um, 
when we, we can get there, we can have this brilliant idea, and as soon as we get there, hunters turn up in such a manner that I can't deal with, and we have to abandon, or we get chased, or there's a million different things that uh, can, and probably, let's face it, will go wrong during these, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping I don't make too many mistakes, basically. That's what, uh, that's what we're looking for here. Oh, we have actually stopped at least there. Vaguely correct. Uh, right, anything tra any traffic coming? No, so we can merge out onto here. Now, they will have aircraft giving chase. Uh, they are, look, there goes one of their vehicles. Uh, just over there, we saw it. They are restricted to what they can use in terms of weaponry and in terms of vehicles. Uh, they're allowed slightly modified vehicles as long as, like, personal vehicles slightly modified. Uh, things like the Sand King that you saw always pass. That's fine. They're not allowed high end cars, though, uh, because, well, we're outnumbered. We're outnumbered vastly in this one. It's 15, 16 against 1. So, you know, there has to be a little bit of balance. Uh, thankfully, the AI behind me are behaving themselves, which is very nice. Uh, which is very nice indeed. They may well have a blimp somewhere about. They may well have a helicopter. Not 100% sure. Uh, now, I think we are going to need to have a call to Leicester. Um, oh, there's a fire engine. I'm you don't ah, I know what they're doing. How can I, help? I think I know what that fire engine's doing. The fire engine is checking cars with the fire, like by pointing the hose at them. Now, I think the engine is confused about the felon, being that uh, the felon has been acting a bit funky in this. Because the felon didn't drive away like everyone else did. What is going on here? <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Um, the Rapid GT has just run off. Please go chase after the Rapid. Please go and chase after the Rapid. Hmm. I don't like this particularly. <laughs> See, I want to go blow up Scotty's car, but is this really a clever idea? Driving around this area? This is super, f super risky. This is so, so dangerous. If we go for this one, there's too many cars around. I've actually overshot where I want to be parked. Let's just sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. No one's looking. Uh, hmm, hmm. Do we blow the thing up? I haven't got much time left on the cops turn a blind eye. Uh, that's okay. There's a mess going on over that part. Hmm. Do we go for it? Do we explode the car? I think we should. I think we've had enough time. We've got a minute to go. I don't see any of the fire engines. I don't see anything around at the moment. There is no sign of any vehicles around. So we are going to go for it. Uh, here we go. Sticky bomb time on the pre. It glitched out a little bit from the signpost, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to shuffle our way forward now. I am going to go for a explode the car. Now, we have blown it up and we're not really far enough away. Well, I say that. We're heading in a good direction. A grey people carrier is fairly nondescript. Uh, there was no immediate fire engine around. I should probably change out of this now. I should probably get a different car. The people carrier is... Mm, they've seen it. I mean, they were around, they were looking. If they see a people carrier, same colour people carrier, similar looking driver, it's going to be suspicious. Do I get the fuse? Why are we not moving? There's no traffic lights here, you moron. Thank you. Thank you very much for going and doing something. Blimp, 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 blimp is here already. Uh, let us just go and nonchalantly drive this way. So they, they know I'm somewhere around this part of the map. They don't know what direction I'm heading. There is a cement mixer uh, that has given us a big old hit. Uh, I don't really want to be up here now. 
Can I see any cars? I mean, we could probably blend back into traffic. We have taken an almighty whack on the front of our car, though. This is the problem part now. My plan was to go and try and loop around. There's a car up by Michael's house. I'd love to go and get that, but I can't. We're taking too much damage and there are too many cars around here. My best bet is going to be on the motorway. I've got to cover some ground now. I've got to get out of here. Uh, the damage, if I hadn't taken that hit from the cement mixer, I would have been fine, but the damage to the car is just too much. Ooh, Shafter looks like a fun option, if I can get it. Oh, no, 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 no. There are far too many vehicles. I'm hoping the damage is not going to sink here, because if they can see my car and the level of damage I've got... Ooh, we get a green light at least. That's what I need. Uh, we're getting on to the motorway. I know, ooh... Hoping no one was paying any attentions. Oh, there's so many of them. Problem is, they're figuring out this might have been where I've gone. I've done it before. I found a cement mixer. I want to swap my car. I really want to swap my car. I wanted to swap it in the tunnel, but I've now got a cement mixer in the way. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do about the cement mixer? Can I try and blend in? I mean, I am technically blending in fine at the moment. But I can't <laughs> to swap my car. Uh, do I turn off the motorway? Possibly. Do I hope the cement mixer turns off the motorway? Very much so. I think it's crossed. It will. It's now checking another vehicle. I don't want to be close enough to really be checked if I can help it. Hmm... See, now, I should have probably changed lanes because sudden, like, big lane swaps will get you noticed because the AI don't do it. Oh, I don't like this at all. I'm nervous about doing two quicker lane changes as that may well be obvious. And a grey people carrier... Uh, a grey people carrier that may or may not show damage needs to be very, very careful here. We're heading completely the wrong direction at the moment. Um, maybe I should have just dove down there, I don't know. Uh, right. We're going to go exit. Ooh, okay, I'm a million miles away from where I wanted to be. But I am at least out of here. No sign of anything around, so we're just going to go. Bloody hell. Okay, green lights. That's good. Let us uh, let us keep going along here. We are fine. We are sorted. I say that when I mean, we're really not. We're in all sorts of trouble at the moment. i got to think of a plan of some description. I can't stay in this car. It is going to get spotted. Uh, do I go for a Dominator? Can't see anything around me. We might go for the quick car swap. I don't really want to be in that for any longer. I do want to be in that. Um, oh, apparently this is a Simeon car or something like that. Uh, so we're going to go for a very quick... Lester, buddy! Lester, I do require your assistance. Uh, we're just going to run the red light. Uh, well, hello. How you doing? Remove wanted level. Okay, so up there. I've got to abandon. I've got to abandon my plans a small okay, bit here. Okay. Uh, that blue vehicle there is a people, is a is a person. That's a hunter. That's a hunter that wasn't paying attention. Oh, and now I found myself heading back towards the police station. I was trying to avoid the police station so I didn't get a wanted level for driving a stolen car. But I also then freaked out because there was a hunter there that I don't want to have to deal with. All right, we're going over this way now, and we are going to sit in the left-hand turn lane. Oh, that's all scary. That's all very scary. Now, I think there is actually a pre somewhere along this road. Uh, I don't quite know whereabouts, so it'd be difficult to do the cool Lester and do the cops turn a blind. I don't think it's too far along. I mean, it could have been just a blue mupper, but there are, a, you know, they are spawning in that colour. But it did look more like a player with where it was positioned and everything. I'm really hoping, wherever the pre might be along here, that I can see it long enough in advance to call Lester. 
I feel like I've done this similar sort of route before, blowing up trees along here. How far along is it? Maybe a little further. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. We're gonna preempt it a little bit, just because I think I'd rather this way around than the other way around. Uh, right. Here we go. Whereabouts is it? Okay. Uh, cops turn a blind eye. Please don't be in there. Uh, oh. Old Blimpus has turned up. That's just dive bombed and stopped. Uh, I do not see. If I get the window down. Oh, I don't see a pre. Maybe it's in the road further north. I doubt it, though. I do think it unlikely, although not impossible, that there is a pre to the road further north here. Oh, I very nearly went. Um, I ve <laughs> I saw the green light go up. And I knew it. The, the people alongside were paying zero attention to the lights. Bloody hell. Uh, I am going to pay attention to the lights. Now, I actually want to go across to this lane uh, of cars, if I can. Because if there is a pre somewhere along here, I think it's along this bit. Somewhere? I think it might be to the road further north, then. Maybe I have misjudged what road that is on. Huh. Maybe I've, maybe I've, maybe I've just driven past it and not seen it. I'll keep going along a little bit. Uh, no, it should be, but I think I've gone past it, you know. I think it's somewhere, the problem is I can't just do a U-turn, I think it's somewhere over there, maybe. But I can't just do a quick U-turn, because guess what? There's hunters everywhere. We can still, okay, if we can't get this one, I can still go along, and we can still get the one that's up by Michael's house somewhere. We're not going to get it in the one minute time frame, annoyingly, and if somebody did see me drive past the pre and I'm just a blind idiot, my bad. Basically, uh, it is possible. Oh, well, it was close enough. It's close enough and there's no cars around and I want to get a little bit of a move on. Ooh. Maybe I didn't want to get a bit of a move on. Maybe I was, maybe I would have been happier just parked waiting at that, uh, at that junction. Possibly. That is definitely a player car. We've got a minute to go. We've got a minute to go like one junction away, or, well, a couple of junctions away. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna, it's going to be just out of time, and I bet, I bet, I'm not going to be able to do the remove wanted level if I blow the car up. Oh, there's stuff going on here. Hey, which one of my skills is required? Give me a shout when you've made oh, your mind up. there is definitely, I didn't mean to press that button at all. Uh, not that it matters, I kind of do know that the blimp is a person in this one. We're not allowed to use that to find out if something is a player or not. I mean, I can't blow this up even if I wanted to. Uh, it is completely irrelevant. It's just such a mess. Every time we got close, there's been some shenanigans has gone on. We didn't chicken out of the one blowing up at uh, at the apartment building. And we did sneak away from that one, thankfully. Although we then had a terrifying time on the, uh, on the motorway. Th this one by Michael's house is literally the last the last one this side of the map. There's nothing else out over here. If we can get this one and then head towards Vespucci Beach, I'd be happy with that. Um, that'd be quite a good idea. Uh, let's have a look, see. However... Hey, how can I help? I'll be four minutes until that you. can go up again. Hmm, I see, see, I'm not even sure it's a good idea to blow it up, regardless of whether I have that turn a blind eye or not, because they're so close. Uh, that would be one of them on a bike, because I don't think the AIs actually go on bikes in multiplayer. Yeah, there is the cement mixer still around. It's something's obviously... There's obviously something up over here. Now, sometimes what happens is they piss around, they annoy the AI. AIs start doing weird things, so more people come around over there, then more AIs start doing weird things. Oh, I'm about to get carjacked by someone who does not realise that it is me. Um... Someone saw a Dominator and fancied having a go with it, and yeah. That's unfortunate. That's not the first time we've had it either. Uh, that would be an attempted carjacking uh, without realising that uh, the vehicle was the player. Um, because I'm in a nice car. I'm in a nice car because I need to be able to get away. Uh, they had obviously not fancied driving. I don't know what they were driving beforehand. But, you know, not wanting it. Uh, we've bolted. We don't, actually, I don't really want to be up here if I can help it, but we're going up this way anyway. Uh, oh, that's not the way I want to go. This is a difficult place to follow a car, especially when we've got, like, a dump truck following us. Uh, this is a very difficult place to follow a car. 
Uh, however, that I believe is one of them behind us. I've messed around far too much. You know, I should have just gone further upwards uh, in this. Really would have been the better way to better way to go. Oh, that's the issue of being around that sort of trouble spot for too long. You hang around that sort of area for too long. Oh, hello, Comet. Uh, <laughs> that was nearly a disaster. I was hoping the shaft might have crashed into it, but annoyingly, annoyingly, it did not. Uh, that would be one of them there. It's gone the other way. That's good news for me. Uh, we're going to bolt down here. Cars are shot off to the left-hand side there. Uh, let's use some straight-line speed. We know the Dominator's quick here. Uh, we know the Dominator is a very, very good car. Oh, brakes. Oh, make that corner, make that corner. Only just, but we get around the turn. Uh, you see, unfortunately for me here, they get lots of warning as to what direction I'm heading in. When they're that far back, they get a lot of warning. Although they might not have seen where I went there. Uh, this is very risky, but screw it, why not? We're already in a whole load of trouble, so why not just do that? Uh, <laughs> we've already got this to a point where they're struggling to keep up. This Dominator was a great call, actually. This Dominator is fast. Now, they're going to be saying that I've gone to the square of squares, uh, or whatever the damn thing's actually supposed to be called. Uh, we know that much. One's just shot past ahead of us. That's not where they wanted to be going at all. Uh, in fact, it doesn't... Like, me blowing up that car there has no bearing whether they found me or not. Me blowing up that car just gave me a point, because there were so many cars hey, rushing that area that uh, okay, okay, it didn't actually matter. They've got trouble. a chopper on me. No that is bad news. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, well, I don't actually know whether that's going to get it. I'm hoping it is, but seeing as we're here, I'm not even intentionally getting these vehicles. We've got another one-star wanted level, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Um... One star I can live with. It'll probably become a two star. You know what? <laughs> I've got a stupid plan. Uh, we might even be able to get a fourth car in this actual chase. I need to get away from this chase at some point. I can't just keep this chase up forever because that's going to happen. That's the huge danger of running, even with a good car like this one. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad, thankfully. Okay, now I don't have time to prat around. Now, messing around goes out the window. I was going to try to blow up the car by the docks, but we've got more important matters to deal with here, uh, which is the whole getting away sort of thing. Ah, uh, the people carry could make the turn. That's a concern. Now, the chopper, I've got a chopper and a blimp on top of me now. How do we lose these with difficulty is the answer. Uh, I know how I can shake them, but I have to shake the cars first, basically. Uh, that's a difficult bit. We've got to lose the cars while they're being guided by helicopters and then worry about losing the helicopters afterwards. Uh, now, we, could we do the stop under the bridge and change direction? Sure, yeah, you can do that. You can't do that when there are three cars behind you watching your every move. Uh, the Dominator is quick on these straights. It will probably outrun them. I think there's a Sentinel back there. It'll probably also outrun a little bit. We can't outrun the helicopters here, but we're not trying to uh, at the moment. We're not really worrying too much about the helicopters. Oh, that's not an AIG wagon. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Uh, I, I saw the thing and I just assumed it was an AIG wagon. Uh, that doesn't matter. We'll just jump off of there. Uh, we are now in a bit of a poorly car. I'm in a bad way at the moment uh, here. We are pretty... Oh! We are pretty, pretty busted up with the Dominator. How are we going to shake them? Have we lost the helicopters, actually? No, nope, we've got, still got the blimp. Can't see where the helicopter is. I can't, you can't really look up very well. Plus, I have bigger concerns at the moment. Uh, I've got to try and keep track of... Uh, oh! Cars around me and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, we're going to drive through here. What is that? Uh, that is very quick, whatever that is. But it's going to have a very big crash. Uh, and doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to now try and dive through here. We need to find... We need to find better alleyways. And this is the problem, is that uh, they've got so many cars. If I try to duck down alleyways, it's great and all. However, if it goes wrong, I get stuck and I'm dead. Uh, there is no... Whoop! Oh, hello! <laughs> that was a Shafter, Schwarzer, something along those lines. There's the fire engine. That's just gone whizzing through. There's the cement mixer. Oh, the cement mixer did catch us on the back there. Uh, we are in a world of pain here. Uh, we are definitely going to be in trouble in this one. Uh, we might be able to... Alright, we got killed. We are here today on a wonderfully foggy morning on GTA 5 for another Survive the Hunt. Yes, I am going to be trying to survive for 24 hours of GTA 5 time while being chased by this lot that are almost vaguely 
in a sensible line. Well, mostly vaguely sensibly parked, apart from the muscle car that I have a sneaky suspicion is about to try and do a wheelie over everybody. But, uh, yes, this lot here are going to be uh, giving chase while I try and survive. Oh, what is the time? Uh, at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. in the morning, we are going to get going, and we are going to see if we can survive. Of course, as you can see, there is no names over players. There is none of that stuff uh, going on. There is no map. Apparently, they've got a big old firework going on in the background. Oh, there was going to be a big old explosion, but we just got some fireworks going on. I don't know what they're up to. I thought they had a bigger plan than that. Apparently, they didn't. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to try and be ste sneaky, stealthy around the city. Of course, we do have the pink prees involved in this one. Dotted around the map are a selection of pink vehicles that I've got to try and blow up. I've got to try and blow up as many of them as I can. Uh, six is the current record. We're going to try and go for some more here. It is not the easiest thing in the world oh, to do, but we're going to see. Basically, when I blow up one of these cars, it is like a little signal flare as to where I was at one point in time. The cars are owned by the players, which means it'll notify them their personal vehicle has been destroyed. This is for balance sake. It gives me a little objective to do and a goal to try and beat while trying to survive, of course, because staying alive for the time is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, I, that would have been very funny if I had blown up while doing that. Uh, thank you, Regina. I, <laughs> I should have gone the other side of it. I just didn't... I thought it was moving across a little bit. I didn't realise it was going to keep moving across. Uh, spawn set at the moment. Terrible. Nothing really that good is... Mm, I say that actually as I've started seeing oracles. You know, a ruiner might not be a terrible idea, actually. So, a ruiner, I'm less likely to get carjacked. Oh, they're less likely to nick a ruiner from me. This has been something that's got me in trouble before. Actually, I found a prey without meaning to. Um, this is something that has got me in trouble before. A ruiner or a phoenix, perhaps, uh, might not be a terrible idea. I kind of want to leave my car somewhere out of the way, maybe. No, none of that really matters. Not that really, you know really of any significance to them. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking a Ruiner or a Phoenix, the reason being is that I'm less likely to be car -tried. I drive the high-end cars when they want to swap their own vehicles, when they want to grab something else. Uh, well, funnily enough, they look for decent enough cars for giving chase. Now, the Ruiner is not a slow vehicle. It's actually pretty decent at uh, giving chase. It blends in everywhere. I've never really used one before either, which is helpful. Uh, the other thing I've got to go and do is, of course, change my clothes. Driving around in a suit with a ballistic mask on, not a good idea. Now, I have this sort of load of this sort of set of clothes. I've used various ones before. Uh, the thing is, they're nondescript, basically. You're not going to really be able to pick them out or notice. Yeah, have I worn this outfit before? I just have that probably. Was it three months ago? Can anybody remember? No. None of them are going to remember, so I think I am relatively safe. Uh, now, what would be fun is if I could get to a custom, Los Santos Customs and modify the Ruiner, make it pretty quick. Uh, we could maybe... Now, doing that in the city is really risky. The one in the city regularly gets visited by them fixing up their cars or, uh, you know, their, their, the vehicles they're driving, etc. Uh, you know what? We're going to go back onto the... We'll stay on the freeway. Uh, they will have been released by about now. Uh, so, the hunt begins... As I said, the aim of the game is a lot of stealth. We're trying to sneak around and blend in as best as possible as they give chase. They will have aircraft around the place. I think they have a blimp is going to be uh, around. Now, the aircraft are very difficult to shake. The aircraft are incredibly difficult to lose in these chases. Um, uh, we can just about outmaneuver a blimp. We'll have to wait and see on this one. Um, the blimps the blimps are surprisingly effective. They're very, very good at giving direction. They're very good at kind of keeping a lot of cars in a chase, basically. Uh, but we will have to wait and see how it goes. We might be able to incognito... I've never incognito the entire way through one of these. Um, we've been kind of close a couple of times, but never quite managed it fully. Uh, we are going to head this direction. I don't want to go that way because there's a police station there. I'm driving a stolen car. It will give a, it could give me a wanted level if the cops pay any attention to me. Other rules, the hunters are already allowed uh, kind of lower end. Well, that's a mid-tier cars, perhaps not low-end cars. Mid-tier cars, and they're restricted in terms of weaponry. Uh, while I am weapons three, nobody's allowed to shoot from the cars. So they're going to be trying to pin me in a corner somewhere. Uh, whereabouts are we going to be heading for a pre? Well, I mean, there's one... An apartment building not too far from here. Uh, oh, for a second, for a second, I thought all the AIs were freaking out around me and thought, oh, I should probably do something. Thankfully, it was. It was just. It was just. It just the lights went green. I guess. Um, 
Okay, now we can go for... <laughs> so, Scotty is uh, the person who films the map for us for the discussion video. Now, they always park their pre out the front of their apartments. In fact, it's over there. I can see it. I'm in the wrong lane and I can't change just yet. But uh, there's always parked out the front of their apartment. It just so happens to be that I've often end up this part of the city basically. Uh, I'm not going to do crazy lane changes while I don't think there are cars around. It's really easy to miss seeing a hunter car about. It's super easy to miss seeing where one of them is, and that gets you in a lot of trouble. So, yeah, we're not going to do anything ridiculous here. I'll make sure the radio is off. Double check the radio is off. I mean, it's uh, not seen anybody. We've been going for two hours, two and a half hours actually. Not seen, two and a half hours of GTA time of course. Not seen anybody. Uh, if we loop our way around to that pre- uh, we'll have a cop's turn a blind eye, we'll blow the car up, and then we have to try and sneak our way out of here. Uh, hopefully they'll be the other side of the map and they won't be close enough to do much about it. Uh, if anything, I might may be possibly approaching the uh, vehicle from the wrong side. Yeah, probably. Probably approaching the vehicle from the wrong side. Excuse me, the lights have literally just gone green, you moron. Uh, and now you're not paid any attention to where you're supposed to go whatsoever. Wonderful stuff. Uh, can I get to it from down there? Yes, I can. Okay, that's all fine. That's all fine. Uh, I didn't quite know exactly where it was, which is why we were being careful. Uh, it's a pretty unhappy ruin of that one. So, what we're going to do is call Lester. We've actually got a lot of things to do here in a very small space of time. Oh, no, this is bad. Uh, Alright, cops turn a blind eye. Uh, what the... Bloody unhelpful AIs. Why they're in such a hurry? They were in such a hurry. Now, I'm going to wait. Now, I'm not allowed to drive the other side of the city and blow the car up. I've got to be within visual range. Uh, however, I'm allowed to wait a little bit. You know, I don't have to blow it up immediately. Once these lights go green, once we're in this intersection, once we're out the other side, that is when I'm going to blow the car up. Uh, we are about here. We will blow that up, and the vehicle is gone. Now, downsides of what I've done here is my car is mildly damaged, so it got dinked by the... Well, it got dinked by the thing ahead of us, the Grizzly. However, uh, that thing there is suspicious. Uh, Frosty Gold Oracle is probably not what you want to be seeing around the place. The window is smashed, but these are not always synced, and I didn't have the time to do anything other than just go for it. I'd normally try and do the sort of uh, hand out the window because you roll the window down. Uh, oh, here comes everybody. Bel Air, G Wagon are all rushing to the case. Now, they know that I'm not going to stay around here, in theory. I want to be a lot further away than I currently am. Quite frankly, I want to be the other side of the map. However, I can't be uh, because, well, we've been stuck in traffic lights here. So we are going to try and sneak our way away here as everything has congregated uh, over there. <laughs> I do not want to be around here if I can help it. I do probably want a new car. However, my choice... I, I want to be much, much further away when I go to swap cars uh, by virtue of I don't want to get scenes changing car there's so many there's so many ruins around is actually super helpful for me uh, we have so many so many ruiners sticking around at the moment there's actually gonna be so difficult to remember if you saw one uh, oh there's a pre over there <laughs> I'd love to go and get it but that's so risky do I dare try it if, if the cops turn a blind eye is still on, I'll do it. But if it's gone, I won't be able to do it. Because we have to go green now, and then we'd have to sneak around the next corner. Oh, this is going to be super close if I can manage to sneak this. If I can manage to cheese this. We've got 30 seconds to do it. Oh, the cement mixer is right there. Uh, I don't know whether that would have seen uh, what we just did. Uh, okay, we're going to leave it. I'm going to leave it as long as I can. Uh, they're now bullying each other, and that's not so good. Ten seconds to go. Come on, traffic lights, please go green. Please go green. Here we go. That is so super duperly risky. I do not know if that was a wise idea. There were so many cars. Are they, they, hmm, they going to think that we've run further away? 
that's a big bravery test. Um, please move. Excuse me. Thank you for moving out of the way. Oh, that's not so good. That's not so good at all. I'm not even going to... They've got too many cars around us here. I'm not even going to gamble on that one. The oh, I knew I shouldn't have done that. That was always a gamble going for that. I was hoping they were going to not think I was that stupid slash brave, I guess. Uh, it was a little bit risky. Oh, there's a car up there. I've actually been punted around. We're going to grab a reverse. Oh, can't grab a reverse because of the car in the way there. Uh, that's fine. We'll just go forward instead. Muscle car is not quite going to get here in time. Uh, we will slip and slide our way up through here. Muscle car tried. Launched into the side of us. Didn't actually do very much to slow us down here. Uh, this is the downside of the Ruiner. Is it's not as quick as some. It's, it's, as I said, it's decent, but it isn't as quick as a Feltzer or... Uh, whatever else we saw. I think I saw a 9F around the place. Would be helpful right about now. Go away, Agent 14. Uh, sensible head says I don't go for that kind of explosion. That Oracle did not quite see where I was and tried to get us. Uh, we're going to just keep foot down down here. While we've got a little bit of an advantage... Oh, no. A glancing blow has sent us pirouetting around. What is it with the Ruiner and just spinning? And once it spins, it's really struggling to get going again. Oh, oh, everyone's coming this direction. You know what? I'm going this way now. Um, we're going to go and avoid that lot. Now, that's actually caused a whole load of mayhem for them. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, if I'm going to spin, at least let it cause that level of chaos. Oh, there's a bike. There's a person uh, around. And we are going to shoot off in this direction. I don't actually know if they caught where we went. Uh, that is one of them up there. Holy crap, I'm just going to duck down here. Um, I'm going to hope that they don't have anybody around here. Uh, this is a little bit risky. Alleyways are great and everything. The problem is if they see you go down one of these, you get pinned in really, really easily. Uh, now, if there was a car... I can't really swap into anything, because if I swap into something... Uh, I can see them whizzing around everywhere. Uh, oh no, there's a cement mixer I think just saw me drive up here. Not cement mixer, sorry, the uh, truck. Oh, we'll leap over there. The truck can't follow me through that bit. The blimp I haven't seen for ages. I don't actually know where the blimp has gone. Uh, the blimp may not know where I am. We're just going to go for a blast through the city again. Uh, oh, bounce bounce across some stuff. The blimp's a million miles away over there in the background. Okay, the blimp doesn't know where I am. I don't think many of them do at this point in time. Uh, I know where I'm going to head. I have a plan, at least. I'm hoping... My theory is they're not going to be looking out over this part of the map. Why? Because I've not been over here. There's no reason why I would be over here, uh, particularly. So that's why we're going to go over here. Uh, can I see any cars around? No. Can I see any cars for me to swap into that are okay? Yes. Oop. And stop. Did anyone follow us? I have no clue. Uh, now, oh. Oh, I got the wrong bloody gun out. <laughs> so, oh. This might be a trick. Now, it's going to smack the window, but it means the car will open quicker. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't shoot through that in the right way. That's fine. I guess... No, you know what? Actually, I'm just better off smacking the window. There's a theory you can do that. You'll get the... Like, you don't have to do all this animation. Uh, however, I shot out the windscreen, and that's not going to work. Okay, well, it's worth a try. Just the gamble didn't pay off uh, in all of this. All right. Window. Go. What's left of that window? Let's get it down. It didn't work. I'm going to have to hope that the damage sink is off. I have to hope that the damage doesn't sink and doesn't show that, as... I can't do much. Well, we've got two pre's. It was too. I think it was, it was too bigger a gamble. It was just they were going to start searching cars. I'm always going to get searched on that one. Well, see, I'm likely to get searched, and then I can't. I just can't act out like an AI particularly well there. So okay, it's fine. We got away. That's the bit that matters. That's the bit that matters. Uh, there is actually a pre down here. You know, I've just looked at the map. There is a pre down by the beach. It's a little bit further down, but we can go for that. That's actually not a terrible idea. You know. It will draw everybody over here, and there's not it's not really an easy way, not easy place to get out uh, down this part of the map. It really isn't that easy to get out down here, so that could be a difficult time. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but also, if they're not around this part of the map, they're not necessarily going to know... Like, I could get quite a long way away before they actually make it this far. 
So that's what we're going to go for and hope is that uh, there's not going to be anybody wandering around this part of the map for a little while anyway. I haven't seen the blimp. So the blimp's a long way away. The blimp's somewhere over the other side of the map, I believe. This one is all the way, to, uh, it's all the way down at the bottom. I don't really want to have to go that far down, but I don't have a... So that's where it is. So we've got to drive all the way down. That is an AI helicopter up in the sky. Uh, that's around the... I would imagine it looks like it is. It's around by the marina kind of area. They do The helicopters do take off and land from there sometimes in online, so not too fussed about that. That's just despawn, so yeah, that's not a player. Uh, I can't see anything around. Is that bike going to go? Yes. So the car should be somewhere on my right-hand side. I'm not quite sure whereabouts on my right-hand side. I'm hoping the ability to turn a blind eye will be recharged, refreshed, however you want to phrase it, by the time we get there. We'll have to wait and see. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm having, I'm having a look around. I know I need to pay attention to the lights a little bit, but also knowing where vehicles are is so vitally, vitally important. It's a... Uh, I say it's what you've got to do. You've got to You've got to be aware of everything. It's very difficult to be aware of absolutely everything at all times in Survive the Hunt. It always is. It's, just, it's the challenge, part of the challenge of this game. Uh, that is a hunter right there. That's that golden oracle that was about uh, a little earlier. Uh, I think we're another one down. It might be a couple more junctions down and we'll find the car that we're looking for. Possibly find the car that we're looking for. Uh, yeah, I'm just having a little check on the map. We've got a little bit of distance to go. Just a smidge. Uh, that's fine. Just wait for the set of lights. Not seen much. And they're going to... So, the hunters have lost me at this point. Chances are they're going to have spread out. They're going to be looking at different corners of the map, uh, trying to figure out which way I've gone. They knew where I was last seen, but that was so long ago that that information is, is useless to them now. Uh, so they're going to be looking at all sorts of different corners. Sometimes they group up a little bit. Uh, it's kind of easy if you end up spotting a friend, you just kind of end up driving around with them a smidge. Uh, it is a, a thing, it's something that's happening. You sometimes just see a big group of cars just hanging around because they found each other and have got distracted, basically. Uh, I'm not actually seeing a pre down here at the moment. Maybe it's a couple of a couple of roads further down. It's got to be somewhere here because it's oh no, it's actually right by the end. Ignore me. I'm slightly misreading them. I'm just slightly misreading how far along the map it was. It should be maybe not the next one, the one after that. I should probably go and see if Lester is ready. If Lester isn't ready, I can just remove the wanted level immediately with Lester's other abilities. Ah, um, creepy, okay, no cops problem. turn a blind eye. There should be a pre somewhere hey around here. What junction is it at? It's got to be this one. Oh, well, found it. <laughs> Make sure there's no cars around. That's spawning really weird. That's like a last, really last second appeared um, pre. I hope nothing's about. I can't see a blimp, so I feel like we're fairly safe to blow it up uh, when we get round this corner. We'll turn the corner, we'll blow the thing up. I'll hopefully be halfway out of this area by the time anyone can react and get here. Fingers crossed. That's the that's the plan, at least. I mean, this will be pre number three. Definitely something's gone on, though, because there's someone running away. Uh, well, we're going to follow that bike, and then we're going to blow up the pre. Okay, good news is it's all green lights here, uh, which are going to follow the bike. There's nobody around to see that I ran a red light there, so that's something. We will stop behind the Serrano, uh, because the bike can run away like a lunatic all it likes, doesn't matter. There's going to be no reason to suspect this, other than that I'm probably, they suspect that I'm going to be coming out of this area. Ah, oh, I want to be so cheeky, because there's another car by that big, uh, like the, the Chinese monument bit. And I am very close to that, but I can't do that again. Like, I can't... I can't try that one again. We got so close to getting caught last time around. It was so lucky that I even managed to get away. That, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna go and risk that. Not not gonna go and risk that one. Where do we head out of here? We could head straight along here, actually. Yeah, okay, I've got an idea how I can loop it into the next one. I say this, I mean, these are the best laid plans, is we head along and we loop it about. Uh, the thing is, those plans probably are going to change, let's face it, uh, because this is Survive the Hunt, and something's going to happen that's going to force me into a, a different action, shall we say. Um, 
Okay, that's going to park. That's fine. We don't have a problem with that. Not really seen any hunters rushing over this way either. The vehicle didn't explode properly. There was nobody close, so they didn't actually bother running to the exact location of just spread out rough area. I saw the gold car again, but that was about it. Um, well, that was a surprisingly sneaky explosion, if I do say so myself. Yeah, if we just follow this road all the way around, I'll get to a big juncture. Oh, no, there might be the one already blew up, actually. Oh, no, it's fine. You know what? We can just follow this road all the way around. There is one... Oh, there's one somewhere in the centre of the city. <laughs> Don't quite know where that is. Uh, I don't quite know I get enough landmarks is exactly where to head. Oh, there is that truck again. Uh, we kind of don't. I don't really want to stop, but I also don't necessarily want to go this way. However, we can do this. Oh bugger! Probably shouldn't have done this, should we? Uh, nope. I would have been better off just waiting at that set of lights. Um, thank you, truck, for smacking that car out of the way. I bet they've seen the window. That is my concern here. I th well, I say I bet they've seen the window. It's possible the window is smashed on their screen. Uh, what is that car doing? Hmm. Hmm. They've got a lot of cars around here. And I don't really like that. I do not really like that one at all. Well, there's a blimp about. Uh <laughs> Oh no, I couldn't get in front of the uh, truck. I was trying to be sneaky. Oh, well, the Sand King, actually, you know what? Sand King, get out of the way. We can push that one clear. So that's why, that's the downside of leaving it too long. So if you try and style it out for too long, that's the thing that happens. Yeah, I, I think maybe the damage was sinking this time out. Okay. Well, you know what? We're here. It'd be uh, rude not to give that one a try, at least. Uh, missed it, but it was worth a go. They've actually all crashed into one another back there. That's fine. It's really difficult to do. It's difficult to do the drive-by sticky bombing oh, while making sure you're not getting hit by fast-moving cars. I think they actually crashed into one another and made a right meal of this, uh, which is good news for me. I've got the blimp to worry about. Oh, now I can do some stuff that the blimp struggles with. The blimp can kind of follow a little... The blimp can follow very well, but it can't follow very well everywhere. And that's one of the difficulties with it. Uh, we have a wanted level from all of that. Uh, that's okay. Why the hell did my tyre go down? Uh, there must have been somebody on foot somewhere. I mean, fair play. There might be somebody who got out of a car was, like, setting it up. Uh, someone did take out my tyre. That's going to be super difficult to deal with now. Uh, there is a couple of plans that we can that we can do. There's a couple of things we could pull off here. It's not going to be easy with a tyre gone. Uh, we might have to... Oh, we might have to be a little brave. Can't blow up that pre. Not got the time. Uh, my best bet... Oh, the other thing... My got the tyre is there's a police stop sticks, but I didn't see any around the place. Uh, come on, Oracle. You can do this. You can do this. Get some speed. Get, can we curb boost? Can we curb boost with the car missing a tyre? Uh, probably not, especially not when there's a whole group of them behind us. Uh, right, last minute. Change of direction. Uh, we are going to have to get out of this car, I think. We're going to have to try and have a shootout somewhere uh, in a place that is beneficial for us. But where exactly is beneficial for us here? Uh, my plan had been the canals, if I could have nudged my car somewhere in there. Uh, I've managed to cause some chaos for them back there, but I'm not. I'm now heading in the wrong direction for where I wanted to go. Uh, how do I get somewhere where I can try and hide? Uh, oh, well, we might blow up. <laughs> That's always super, super risky. Uh, right, I have a plan. This is the dumb plan, but it's a plan. I don't know where the G-Wagon's gone. The G-Wagon has vanished. Uh, this is either going to be a do-or-die sort of a moment. Okay, we have no other options left to us. The tyre's gone and I'm not in a good place. There's so many cars behind us. What are they going to do if I do this? Uh, Alright, goodbye! <coughs> they don't know where I've gone. I don't know how much uh, breath I have, but... There's literally no other options for me. Are they going to try and shoot at me? Probably. The blimp is going to be the biggest concern for me, but what the bloody hell else can I do here? Uh, right. Uh, dive. 
Dive, 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 dive. I don't know how to dive. That's the issue here. How does one dive? Uh, I used to... There was a... Just... Okay. Go down? That's, bu that's the down button. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, this is a different plan. I have always wondered whether this would work. I have always wondered whether this would work. Now, the issue I've got, I know how to at least go down again. So, we're just going to, like, pop the head up a little bit, just momentarily try and get some breath. Uh, oh, and then dive again. Uh, can I get... So, what I want to do is I want to get between the boat and the dock. Because I think I'll be very difficult to see here. That's the plan, at least. Are one of these a ladder to get out? Yes. The, the, so we know the blimp is terrible at seeing individual people. I know the blimp can't see individual people very well. Uh, we've, we saw this last time when it was above the car park. Uh, it had no clue where I was. So we have seen that that's had a bad time uh, in the past, trying to, trying to spot individuals. Um, and this is not really where I want to be, because if I get out of here, I've got to have a run across to the containers. Uh, I mean... <laughs> Unless you're specifically looking, you're never going to see a, like an individual head bobbing up and down in the water here. I'd like to get on the boat, but there's no way I can do that. Ah. Well, okay, there's a person in the water. The person bloody followed me. Well, that's fine. Uh, we'll get out here, and I will have a gun before they do. Um, so that's okay. We will... Get rid of Stevie. The problem is now they know exactly where I am. Or they know the rough area that I'm in. I think we may be in a smidge of bother here. Um, owing to a lack of A, transport, and B, options. Uh, this is not even the dock I thought I was at. <laughs> In fact, does Stevie, would Stevie even know where the bloody hell we were? I sure as hell don't. I don't actually know where I am uh, very well anyway. I mean, they might have a clue a little bit, but <laughs> it would have been he's at the he's at the dock, and then no one's going to know where the bloody hell that is because uh, I don't. The blimp, okay, so the blimp's over there. The blimp doesn't know where I am either. This is gloriously balmy. E okay, one of two things is going to happen. There is one of them. One of two things is going to happen. Either we're going to get. We're going to get spotted and killed, and I'm not even going to know where it came from. Mostly because they're probably not going to know where it came from either, but... Bloody hell, how do I get out? I don't know how I get out of here. This is the biggest problem I have now, is how the hell do I leave? See, I thought I'd swum further... I thought I was at the Simeon docks, but I don't think I was in the end. I don't think I have been. I don't think I'm anywhere well, near the Simeon docks. Uh, we're on, like, the Elysian Island. Uh, thank you. You have uh, given me a car. Oh, I can't drive it, can I? Oh, Bugger me. Uh, that's not good. Gliska shot Angus. I think there may have been some miscommunication over who was where. That's what that looks like to me. Oh, there are cars out there if I can just get the other side of this. Uh, did I hear something? Yeah, I can hear something whizzing around. Uh, I want to put my gun away so the security guard doesn't shoot me. Um... Okay, Gliska's about... Oh, run, moron! I'm gonna get shot in the back. I'm gonna get shot in the back. Okay, so that was Angus's car there. Uh, we know that was Gliska's car over there. Uh, I can hear something. I don't want any of your vehicles, and I don't really want the Seminole or any of that garbage. That's a police car. I can't nick a car if the cops are around here either. Do I just drive one of their vehicles out? This cops over there. Oh, bugger me. I can't actually see now. I'm in a bush. Okay, so someone's turned a blind eye to the cops. <laughs> Survive the hunt edition. Hide in a tree. Is it as successful as the bin? I have no idea. Absolutely none. Zero. Squat. You know what I'm going to do while I'm bloody here? Not that I think it's going to matter. Uh, 
Can I? I can't climb over there. I'd like to climb over there. I'd like to not be in the trees, if at all possible. I'd like to be not in the trees and somewhere with a little bit better cover. Uh, right. This will do for me. Uh, thank you. Oh, I see a policeman over there. Um, right. Let's get out of here. Uh, I don't know whether that is someone in the game or not, technically speaking. I don't know whether that was somebody who was going back to their vehicle uh, or what it was. Oh, for God's sake, they just blocked out the docks. Um, I'm not going to piss around. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's actually probably a solid plan. I thought Angus was... I thought the truck was out. I don't even know at this point in time. Uh, right, we know the Mizzy's act, Minnie's actually the Izzy. The Mizzy? The Mizzy! I'm going to call it the Mizzy from now on. Uh, Minnie and Izzy is actually pretty good here. Uh, in t uh, maybe I should have tried swimming away. That could have been quite entertaining. Uh, yeah, the Izzy is actually pretty good when it comes to being a getaway car. It's small, it's light, it's actually surprisingly agile. Uh, it is prone to uh, oversteer, which can be a big old problem for the car. Uh, however... You know, it's still pretty... It's surprisingly rapid, actually. Uh, the truck is going to struggle to keep up with that one. Oh, we're going to go and turn through here. Uh, can the truck follow the Mini? Let's go find out what it can and can't... Uh, what it can and can't do. Oh, there's not going to be... There's not a gap through the central reservation bit. That's fine. We'll see if the truck can uh, drive in the oncoming lane uh, well. Not that I actually want to stay on the motorway all that long, if I can help it. That's another one of them. Uh, I'm pretty sure one with a boat on a trailer just shot past as well. Oh, clonked into that. So that is the downside you get. The truck is still there. That's the downside you get with the strategy that I just played, is if you go to an area like that dock, for example, where there's not all that many ways out. Oh, this is a bad call by me. Uh, this is a really, really, really bad call by me. Uh, we're going to spin that around. Uh... Ah, uh, oh, they got me from back there. That's a good shot. That's a good shot considering I was ducked down in the car, I have to say. Uh, I thought that was a different bit of the road and it wasn't. Ah, oh, that was stupid of me. I thought that was the turning that goes down by the site. And I was hoping the Mini could uh, could lose them, but it couldn't. Uh, so that's uh, unfortunate in the end of all of that. But, uh, ah, there we go. Almost worked. Maybe I should have tried swimming out. I don't know where I would have gone to. I guess maybe I could have swum back, actually. They probably wouldn't have expected that one. Uh, we took out a good number of them, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think uh, where I went was a dead end. I thought it was a slightly different part that we were aiming for. Ah, I tried to get too clever. Tried to get too clever in that one. It was good. Just not quite good enough. Just not quite good enough. We're about eight hours short in that. Well... And there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.